Welcome. We are going to take a look at the new roundabout in Twinsburg, Ohio, at State Route 91, or Dara Road, and Glenwood Drive. State Route 91 runs north and south, while Glenwood Drive runs east and west. We do not take on all of the approaches. However, based on our educated opinion, we will detail some best demonstrated practices to hopefully ease your roadway navigation. Without further ado, we start with the northbound right turn on to Glenwood Drive eastbound. First, we must look for advanced notification. To the right, you'll notice a right turn only sign. This sign indicates that the outside lane is a dedicated right turn only. The pavement markings also help with advanced notification. As can be seen, the outside lane stays consistent with the previous sign, right turn only, whereas the inside lane concludes that your movements are defined as a through movement north on 91 or a left turn onto West Glenwood Drive. Advanced notifications help determine your vehicle movement. In this case, we will be making a right turn onto East Glenwood. On our approach to the roundabout, there is additional signage. First, the pedestrian crosswalk highlighted by the signs to the left and the right of the roadway. Second are the vehicle movement notifications. From left to right, you have the keep right sign, the yield sign, and the roundabout directional arrow sign. Once at the intersection of the roundabout, you'll notice a large hashed line. This line indicates the point where the roundabout lane begins. This is also a good reference as to where you should consider a stopping point when yielding to oncoming traffic. When exiting a roundabout, we suggest that you always use a turn signal to make your intentions clear. In addition, always be aware of signs when exiting. As you can plainly see, we have another pedestrian crosswalk which requires our attention. Next, we turn our attention to a northbound left from State Route 91 onto Glenwood Drive, heading west. We still need to use the advanced notification to properly navigate our trip. As seen previously, we have the right turn only sign indicating the right lane is dedicated to right turns only. Pavement markings once again reinforce the signage. However, because we are making a left turn this time, the proper lane use, as described by the pavement markings, is the interior lane. It is still mindful to heed the approach signs, yield to pedestrian crosswalk, keep right, yield to oncoming traffic, and the roundabout directional arrows. At this point, your gap integrity is now in play. The green highlighted area is where you should be expecting oncoming traffic to come from, and our current vehicle location is an advisable area to consider your options. Currently, there is no oncoming traffic from the roundabout or the West Glenwood extension, so we continue to proceed with our approach. An oncoming vehicle has now entered our periphery. Based on our vehicle location and that of the oncoming traffic, we need to determine the assured distance. In our educated opinion, an assured distance of approximately three car lengths shown by the highlighted area should be more than sufficient to merge into the roundabout. Now in the roundabout, we are an example of a less than sufficient assured distance. At an approximate two car lengths, which is highlighted in red, the vehicle attempting to enter from East Glenwood has properly yielded to our vehicle. Once we have committed to remaining in the roundabout past the northbound exit, we can begin to indicate our intention to exit the roundabout at West Glenwood Drive. And as always, continue to look for additional signs and potential liabilities when exiting the roundabout. We will now navigate a through movement heading southbound on State Route 91. You'll notice a few signs that we had previously not seen. We start with the circular intersection ahead sign, combined with the street sign Glenwood Drive and the suggested speed limit of 15 miles per hour. Following that, an additional sign indicating right lane must turn right, then the pavement markings delineating proper lane use, the interior lane for both a through movement to southbound 91 and a left turn onto Glenwood Drive East, and then the exterior lane is for right turns onto Glenwood Drive West. The advanced notification of a yield ahead sign warns drivers of the upcoming need to yield to both pedestrians and vehicular traffic. As you should have noticed, there is special attention being made to the exterior right turn only lane. There is yet another advanced notification that the outside lane is strictly a right turn only. Failure to adhere to these notifications can and will result in a crash. The approach signs show up again. Yield to pedestrian crosswalk, keep right, yield to oncoming traffic, and the roundabout directional arrows. We begin to look for our gap integrity now. In this situation, we have a vehicle exiting the roundabout, a vehicle on approach to the roundabout, and a vehicle already in the roundabout. When close enough, we can determine that the blue car, which was already in the roundabout, has made their intention clear and is exiting the roundabout going northbound. This is a green light, a go for us. Once in the roundabout, and just before our exit, we will again indicate using our turn signal that we intend to exit going south onto State Route 91. 
don't forget to pay close attention to additional notifications or crosswalks. Now on to our final approach, an eastbound through movement from Glenwood Drive West to Glenwood Drive East. You will find a similar advanced notification on this approach, the circular intersection ahead sign with the attached street sign, Dara Road or State Route 91, and the suggested speed limit of 15 miles per hour. This approach gives us an opportunity to discuss a pertinent design feature of roundabouts. You'll notice that most approaches to roundabouts have a curvy sway to the roadway. This intention is to A, reduce or slow your approach speed, B, enter your vehicle into the roundabout at an angle intended to prevent major accidents typical of traditional intersections, such as a T-bone or a head-on collision, and C, to keep the flow of traffic moving. Similar to the other legs of the roundabout, we have our approach notifications, yield to pedestrian crosswalk, keep right, yield to oncoming traffic, and the roundabout directional arrows. Here, we will dig deeper into the yield sign. At our approach, we see three vehicles in our line of sight, one in, one entering, and one leaving the roundabout. This situation cautions us to reduce our approach speed, although the vehicle leaving the roundabout looks unassuming, giving us a gap. It is not. The clear exit gives the vehicle entering the roundabout the right of way to enter. Knowing there is a vehicle that has now entered the roundabout mere yards away to the left side of the screen highlighted in red requires us to yield to that vehicle and any immediate traffic following. Continue to use your own judgment when determining your gap integrity. Once we have confirmed our appropriate gap, we attempt to merge. The vehicle which we yielded to is now in front of us and continuing along the arc of the roundabout. Had the black sedan positioned itself in the roundabout to exit, similar to the red highlights, we would have had to have come to a complete stop. However, it has stayed on the interior trajectory of the circle, allowing us to freely flow into the roundabout at a reduced speed just behind it. Don't forget to use your turn signal to indicate your intention to exit the roundabout, and keep an eye out for signs and pedestrians when exiting. 